in the topic lacing from Indian phosphine nanowire photonic crystals, I will introduce how we achieve lacing from photonic crystals. Photonic crystals are periodic optical nanostructures that affect the motion of photons like our Indian phosphine nanowire arrays. Our Uza Indian phosphine nanowire arrays were grown by SA and MOVPE on Indian phosphine substrates. The auto diameter is 216 nanometer, and the length is about 1 micron. Nanowire are coated by 10 nanometer aluminum oxide. The distance between each nanowire is 500 nanometer. When the Indian phosphine nanowires are excited by a 720 nanometer wavelength optical pump, the nanowire emits a broadband photoluminescent light. The photoluminescence is unpolarized and directionless. The light propagating within implant nanowire areas is regulated by photonic band structure. The light with a specific wave vector corresponds to a few allowed resonant frequencies. Our special point, gamma, the group velocity is zero due to the flat band. This indicates that the light with a k vector from gamma to gamma point is a standing wave. The standing wave has a resonant frequency of around 860 nanometer. Here is another higher resonant frequency, which is related to our measurement in pulse laser. The behavior of standing waves at the gamma point is very interesting. The green line presents one set of lattice planes. The reciprocal spacing between each green line is exactly the same as the standing wave's k vector from gamma to gamma point. By the symmetry, the standing waves can propagate in six directions with the k vector from gamma to gamma point. As a result of overlapping standing waves, each nanowire is surrounded by alternately counter and clockwise spin electric fields. This is called slow block mode. Here's the distribution of the E fields. The photonic crystal lattice plane acts like an implant two dimensional mirror, which amplifies the slow block mode stimulated emission of the GAN medium located within or nearby the photonic crystal structure. Once the GAN overcomes the losses, the nanowires start to lace at the slope block mode resonant frequencies. Since the implant standing way satisfies the lower conditions, the laser beam can deflect to the direction normal to the plane. Therefore, the lacing line is coherent and directional. The specialty of our lacing is that the slope block mode lacing is unpolarized. The gain spectrum as a function of carrier density can be presented by the reduced density of states and the Fermi direct function for the conduction band and valence band. The graph shows the gain of Indian phosphine nanowires while heated up by the post laser R77K and CW laser R77K and post laser R room temperature. The nanowire lacing power and onset of lacing image were measured on the real image plane. The lacing opening angles were measured by the far field image taken on the second Fourier plane. The far field image helped us to determine the nanowire lacing opening angles, which was important to determine the size of a nanowire lacing isolate and how many nanowire were lacing. The graph shows the lacing isolate with the donut shape on the real image plane and the pump power dependent lacing emissions. This graph on the second Fourier plane shows the far field image of the photonic crystal laser emission and the FDTT simulation of the far field distribution. The pump power dependent lacing spectral are mature in the log log plot show a threshold fluence of 40 microjoules per square centimeters with a maximum lacing output power of 10 microwatt. Black arrows indicate the valence A and B band emission at the lowest pump power. 
A post and CW excitation at 77K reveal lacing a threshold pump fluence of 11 microjoules per square centimeters, with the output powers reaching 180 and 470 microwatt respectively. The broad lacing by the post laser is due to the slow block mode at higher frequencies. The black and blue solid block show the experimental emission power. The black and blue open block show the emission line width. The transition between the photoluminescence domain and stimulating emission domain can be observed by the sudden change of the line width. The calculated LOL curve can be derived by photogenerated carrier density rate and emitted cavity photons rate. Photogenerated carrier is calculated by laser pump generation, non-radiated recombination, spontaneous recombination, Uger recombination, and net stimulated recombination. Emitted cavity photons rate consists of stimulated emission and spontaneous emission. The excellent crystal facets which are mirror-like helps us design a small threshold electrically pumped lacing in nanowire photonic crystal arrays on silicon and insulator substrate at room temperature. Conclusions, we reach a maximum of 470 microwatt output lacing of pump fluence of 11 microjoules per square centimeters. Photonic crystal lacing near threshold reveal that lacing commence with localized donut shape mode. Opportunities for electrically pumped photonic crystal laser light at room temperature when the gamma slow block mode is designed to overlap the gain spectrum at a low pump threshold. The article was published. For more details and references, you can download the paper from Advanced Optical materials. We acknowledge Data Melody and Data Dushua. Financial support from the Australian Research Council, Australian National Fabrication Facilities, ACT Note, National Science Foundation, University Research Council at the University of Cincinnati, John Hooker Foundation at Xavier University.